Hello. Am I live? It looks like the clock is ticking. Welcome to my office. I am Dr. Cedric Wood, a family therapist, couples counselor, and individual counselor. I'm sorry about the overexposure here, but I wanted to just say real quickly that I'm going through a horrible situation. The lady of my life, I'll just say her name is Jill, who I love so much. And I've been dating and then taking care of for seven years. But her health just went downhill precipitously about two and a half weeks ago. And I became so concerned. What should I do? Well, of course, I got her loaded up in the car and took her to Presbyterian Hospital of Dallas. It's called Health Resources. And yes, we had to wait for a while. That's very normal. And then they got her back in there and did the basic assessment. And then they took her back to a room. I thought, good. This is the beginning. They're going to look at her and they're going to start taking care of her. And of course, I let her daughter, the one most involved in her life, know that I had taken her there. So when she got off of work, she came to visit her mom. So far, so good. But then her daughter went hysterical. She went ballistic saying the most vile things about the fact that I had taken her there instead of where she had wanted to take her. So eventually they asked us both to leave. I didn't think that would change the fact that I would come back the next day to check on her and see if she'd gotten settled and to let her know how much I care about her and love her. And over the next two or three days, I was able to do that with supervision for some reason. And then it became more difficult because they actually said like trespassing warning I was given. How does that happen? You love somebody. She loves me. I'm concerned about her. I take her to the hospital to be treated. And then because of something that her daughter said, they tried to block me from spending time with her and showing her the love and care that I've shown her for seven years. So each day that goes by that I'm not allowed to go see her, my heart is breaking, of course, very confused what's going on and I can only imagine how confused she is about a week ago she called me five o'clock in the morning several times with the phone that I bought for her wanting to talk to me wanting to see me and I told her I would try but they weren't letting me in and then I could overhear a nurse or a nurse's aide treating her badly. I heard it with my own ears and I can't do a thing about it because I am persona non grata on the hospital unit where I placed my spouse two weeks ago for treatment. It's unbelievable. It's shocking. It's hurtful. And no matter who I talk to at the hospital, no matter who I talk to outside the hospital, like a neuropsychologist or a psychiatrist acquaintance of mine, no one's able to do anything about it because of HIPAA, 
we've got to watch who finds out about the fact that you're here. I know she's there. I brought her there. And so I cannot believe that some people can allow themselves to become so vicious, so aggressive, and so cruel. And this daughter is driving a car that I bought for her and loaned her so that she would have transportation. You know what they say, no good turn goes unpunished. I let her sleep many nights in this office right here because she had no place to sleep. I wanted to show Jill that I cared about her and any member of her family. I'm here for you. And my reward seven years later is to be locked out of her life by her daughter and possibly her other children. By the way, her other three children didn't bother to come visit her for six years. Since 2018, they have not driven over to where Jill and I lived and spent time with her, gone to dinner with her. So all of a sudden, they have this vengeful, vicious need to grab control of their mother now that she's not feeling well. Is there anybody out there that could give me some advice? I am here to listen. Along the way, they got power of attorney. And I think that's what makes the hospital staff say, oh, well, that gives them the right to say that you can't visit. I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think so. It's medical power of attorney, which means they can call the shots for her treatment. But that doesn't give them the right to say, don't let her husband, her seven year spouse, visit her to show her I care and I'm worried about her. It is one of the most shocking events of my life. And to see Presbyterian Hospital of Dallas, supposedly a hospital run by mature people, buy into and become party to this vicious, cruel, and I'll say sociopathic endeavor. As a mental health professional, I have studied psychology and family therapy and counseling. Oh, coming up on 40 years. And I've never been exposed so closely to a person who could be diagnosed with sociopathy before. If you have any ideas, call me 214-394-4040. Let me know what you think I should do about this situation. My heart is breaking and I think Jill's heart is breaking because she loves me and I love her. Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to your emails or your phone calls. Thank you.